is all about compromising your morals, deciding who lives and dies. The sages are broken, their citadel in flames, but they were not slaughtered to the last. You betrayed Graven Ash, the Legion, and our northern countrymen. Having others bloody their hands for you, huh? You're learning a bit too much from Kairos. We've gone way past right and wrong, Fatebinder. So long as order and Kairos' law follow in your wake, you may dispatch chaos however you see fit. How could we have known that the fate of thousands would rest in your hands? makes it an easy target for the long-distance sniper attacks of artillery cruisers. Before you take the helm, it is vital to understand how to handle your ship. The weapon wheel at the center of the screen acts as a targeting reticle, but also provides important information about ship energy and health. Ability heart keys are visible at the top of the screen. Once used, they will display a countdown timer for when they can be activated again. A good captain will learn to time their attacks, switch to the secondary weapon when a primary is on cooldown. Activate your energy generator just before closing in for an attack to maximize your damage and leave your opponent in flames. Bringing the right ship to bear at the right time can mean the difference between victory and utter defeat. Remember what you've learned, and you'll be on your way to becoming one of the most renowned and feared captains in the solar system.
Welcome to Santa Monica Island and the rebuilt California Keys. Tourists used to love this place until the good, the bad, and the straight up ugly arrived. Now we've got organized crime and mercenaries taking on cops and vigilantes, all floating and fighting in our damn streets. When you jump into zero G, how are you gonna win the war? Will you fly like a rocket? Or swing through the sky? Jump into the shadow! You have picked up the battery. Will you be on the right side of the blade? Or the wrong side of a gun? You can seamlessly switch between cooperating and competing depending on the situation you're in. So what you're seeing here is the Divinity Original Sin 2 prototype, built on top of the Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition engine. It's still very much work in progress and lots of things will change, but it's already sufficient to demonstrate a couple of the key things that we're building the game around. The party consists of a wood elf, two humans and an imperial dwarf. We are escaped sorcerers, users of a forbidden form of magic, and we're on the run from divine magisters. We're looking for help to travel to the mainland and are trying to enter a village where we'll hope we'll be able to get a ride on a dragon. Getting into the village, however, turns out to be problematic because of some local unrest with the dwarves. My main character hails from this town and is recognized by the guard. This facilitates things for her and she easily gains entry. However, the rest of the party is not allowed in. While the thief and elf eventually convince the guard via individual persuasion events, the dwarf fails and has to find another way in. Like this, pretty much every dialogue that you
committed to fighting the professional league by the Leandro Rules Board. Your strength and brutality are legendary.